like a lot of people, uh, I too like fishing, conehead, flies. Um, the added weight, the added attraction, you can add a, you know, you can fish these in all sorts of different colours and add a, a nice trigger point to a fly but also a lot of weight and um, anyway, a lot of different factors that uh, can benefit using using a conehead. The thing about the fly is that uh, obviously when it, the conehead's on, it's on. So if you, you want to fish that fly without a conehead, uh, then you need to essentially tie the same fly again, but without the conehead. And actually tying the fly with a conehead can be uh, more difficult, obviously, than just tying uh, a standard fly. So here's a little tip for you. When you buy your coneheads, and obviously you can get them in, uh, in a variety of colours, a variety of sizes. Here's just a small selection there now. Um, these, are, these are tungsten coneheads. Um, rather than actually attaching these to the fly before you start, you can get some tube fly liner. Uh, this is by Uma. Uh, and it just comes in little short lengths. But what you can do with this is you need a you need a candle. Or actually you just use a if you want to just use a lighter to do it as you go along, uh, that's fine. But I tend to do these in batches so you can do all the different colours and carry a, a range of colours as you go along. So what you want to do is just slowly burr the end of uh, of, of the tubing. Uh, so now I'm using just a, a thicker tubing here just to show you the effect. Hopefully that will show up. But it just creates a, 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 just a, a swollen end to the tubing. Now what I'm using on these, you just want to make sure that the tubing obviously fits through the, uh, the, the tube in question. So that's perfect. You want it quite snug. So just burr the end just a bit. If it starts to if it starts to burn, just blow the flame out. Just allow it to cool a little bit, and then draw it into the back end of the tube of the uh, of the cone head. As such, after you do that, trim the other side very close, leaving about two mil out the end of uh, the cone head. Make sure it pulls all the way down. So all you need to do then is just twist the other end by the flame like that and there you go it's done both ends for you. What you can do then is you can obviously do them in the range of colors, range of sizes. So you're just fishing a standard tube fly. So the tube fly is on the line already or actually before you, you tie it on you can put this, you can slide these up what you, what you can do is just drop your lined cone heads just slide it through the hole at the top and drop it down onto the head of the fly now you'll find when they fish it'll automatically drop down onto the head of the fly anyway um, but the beauty of this is as well you can change the, the weight of the cone heads if you wanted to Obviously you can change the colour of the cone heads, but also, also if you want to do, you can add, if you want to add additional weight, you can actually put a couple of cone heads onto the same fly. And then, you, yeah, you can, you can just vary them accordingly. But that becomes a lot easier than carrying uh, a, tu uh, a, a tube fly that's already got the, the cone head on. Um, so, yeah, a, a very simple, very simple tip, uh, but one that, yeah, adds, adds an extra dimension to your uh, to your fly box basically but what I would say as well uh, don't be tempted to fish them without lining them uh, because the, uh, the, the the kind of unfinished edge of the cone heads can uh, fray your line and damage your line so it's always better just to line them it's a very simple process as you've just seen uh, but again it enables you to fish uh, just a, a huge range of flies without uh, adding you know without adding too much to your selection, i.e. Uh, tubes that have already got the cone heads on and tubes that haven't got the cone heads on, you can carry them all without the cone heads on and add as you, as you see fit on the day.